guys, what's up? It's Christina here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another video for you guys and it is going to be my May favorites. Um, this time it's going to be a beauty edition sort of video. Um, I know with these favorites videos you usually include like um, clothing pieces or like shoes or like um, accessories but I realized um, the month of May, I really didn't go anywhere. I mostly just stayed at home in like sweats and like t-shirts and like pajamas. So I don't know how interesting it would be to share with you guys that. But yeah, it is going to be a beauty sort of skincare, fragrance, makeup edition. Because I did go to some places, like I went out to the city, um, but mostly for like maybe two days out of the month. So yeah, I don't really have any like um, favorite like clothing pieces because I didn't really, I wore like maybe a couple outfits and that was it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Also, let me know down below what are some of your favorite like beauty product, clothing pieces or whatever that you loved in the month of May. Um, I love like trying out new things, um, new products, um, trying out new different um, styles. So yeah. Um, without further ado, let's get on with my main favorites. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys some makeup products or some makeup bits that I have been loving in the month of May that I have sort of been transitioning and also using um, this month in the month of June. So yeah, um, the first one is this lip gloss. I actually have seen a lot of people talking about this lifter gloss from Maybelline. I absolutely love Maybelline. Um, I tend to be sort of a drugstore kind of girl when using makeup. I don't really spend money on high-end brands. Um, I tend to mostly spend my money on like drugstore products, which I feel like there are really great um, p um, products that you can find at a really affordable price and you don't really have to break the bank when it comes to um, buying like different like foundations, lip glosses, or eyeshadows. So yeah, one of my favorite brands is definitely Maybelline. So I just picked up this lifter gloss um, in the shade, where is it? Number three, a moon. So it just looks like this. I actually have it on my lips right now and I really, really love it. I feel like you could also like put like a sort of a darker shade underneath or like apply lipstick underneath and then put this on top would look really nice. But I just use this by itself instead so yeah um, this was super affordable this was only like nine euros so yeah i love it i feel like it definitely does make your lips look a lot fuller and a little bit plumpier if you're into having a bit more fuller lips so yeah um they have all different kinds of um scents and uh colors if you want to go for something darker or lighter but i sort of stuck to a more like pinkish sort of creamy kind of shade that looks a bit more natural so yeah really love that i definitely recommend you to check out maybelline's um lip glosses okay, so as you know i am obsessed with maybelline um whether it be their mascaras their lip glosses their eyeshadows so i have seen this on tiktok and it is the maybelline sky high um mascara and let me tell you i absolutely love it um the wand looks like this which i think is really cool and it's like very bendy and flexible which is really great. And um, yeah, I actually have it on my eyes right now. One thing I love about it is it doesn't get super clumpy, which I know a lot of mascaras do when you put it on. And also it like separates your lashes. So that's really nice. So it's not all like stuck together and it makes your lashes look really full. Um, for me, I just usually use like two or three coats and I feel like that goes a really long way. I know with some other mascaras I've tried, I've like used like five, six coats and it just gets all gooey and clumpy. So yeah, I definitely recommend you um, to pick up this mascara. I believe it was like only 13 euros. No more than 13 euros, 11 euros, I can't quite remember. But yeah, um, absolutely love it. Um, this is something I'm going to definitely be repurchasing in the future when it um, runs out. So the next thing I have is an eyeshadow palette. If you know me, I am obsessed with the TV show Friends. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's this Monica palette. They also have a Rachel palette, but I actually preferred the colors, more of the colors 
from the Monica palette. I feel like I would have used those more. I feel like the Rachel palette has a lot of um, brighter colors, like pink, um, neon-y kind of colors, whereas this is more of these like earthy tones, which I tend to stick to. I also have it on my eyes right now, which I will share with you guys which colors I used. I think the packaging is absolutely adorable. It's Monica's apartment and the colors um, and the names for the colors are really cute also. Um, we have here, so it just looks like this. I will remove this plastic covering. So it just looks like this. Um, there's these colors, clean, chef, Geller cup, chicken, twins, frizzy, bing, Obsessive and Thanksgiving, which I think is very creative to name these colors that. So I have just been really loving and using clean as like the base. And then I'll go on with frizzy as like the top coat. And then I will use a bit of twins for a bit of a sparkle. And then I'll mix it a little bit with um, Bing and Chef. And then sort of as my going over the top, um, the what do you call it? The above your um, lids, I'll use um, chicken. So yeah, I love it. Absolutely adorable. Um, this was also really affordable as well. I believe it was like maybe less than 10 euros, I believe. So yeah, um, this is from the brand Makeup Revolution London, which I have a bunch of mas mascaras, a bunch of eyeshadow palettes from there and also like um, bronzers and like um, blush palettes. So I love this brand. It's super affordable. And these colors also aren't super pigmented, but pigmented enough to see it, which I really love. And it lasts throughout the day, which is really, really great. So the next thing is this bronzer I have had for a really long time, and I have been using it a lot in the month of May. Um, the one I usually, um, for bronzer, use, use um, Luminae's um, Arctic I think it's like arctic sun or aren't yeah arctic sun something like that bronzer but um mine ran out when i was in thailand so i have just been using this and have been carrying on using it in the month of may as well um i picked it up from watson's it was super affordable as well which i feel like all the stuff i'm going to share with you guys are super affordable like you don't have to splurge necessarily on makeup products you can get actually a lot of great affordable good quality products from the drugstore section. I bought this from Watson's a couple years ago and have just been recently really using it. So it's the Summer of Love Triple Baked Bronzer and it just looks like the, the packaging is really cute. It's in a heart shape and it looks like this. I feel like this is going to last me a very, very long time, which is really great. Um, I feel like it would last me more than my Luminae bronzer, which yeah. So it just looks like this, and I picked it up in the shade, does it even say? Love Hot Summer, so yeah. I believe that they still have it in Watson's. Um, the last time I was in Thailand, I definitely, I think I saw this still there. So if you are interested in trying it out, I definitely recommend you to um, pick this up. So yeah, love So the next thing I'm gonna share with you guys are some um, makeup bits from H&M that I got. Um, not really. One makeup bit from H&M and another is a fragrance. Um, I love that H&M not only sells like clothing, shoes, and accessories, but they also have a makeup section. I'm not saying all the, you know, makeup products are great. Um, although they are really affordable, um, you kind of have to see what works for you. So I have always wanted to try using a concealer. I've never used a concealer before. I usually, in my makeup routine, just use like liquid foundation and then bronzer, blush, and pretty much that's it. So I wanted, I was thinking of whether to pick up a concealer from like um, Maybelline or L'Oreal or something or Revlon, but I decided to pick up one from H&M and just try out because I don't normally use concealer, so I didn't want to like spend too much to see if I didn't necessarily need it in my makeup routine or if I didn't, if I didn't like it, you know, so. I just got this one from H&M. It was on sale um, for $3.99 and originally it was $12.99. So a really, really great deal, nine euros off. So I picked it up in the scent, um, scent, in the color, um, what is it? So I just picked it up in the color, 
Okay, it doesn't say, it doesn't say what color it is. Oh yeah, warm ivory. So it just looks like this. I have already used it and I love it. I really feel like it gives you great coverage for those like annoying little like spots that you break out your skin. So yeah, um, I definitely recommend um, trying it out to see if you like it. They have all different sorts of shades. Um, so yeah, it is the um, Soft Focus Effect Flawless Concealer. So yeah, if you don't wanna splurge too much on concealers and you don't normally use it in your routine, I recommend you trying out at H&M to see if you like it or not. So yeah, I mean, to be honest, I feel like it's not necessarily necessary in my routine but um i feel like it does give you great coverage if you want to just like you know cover those spots here and there so yeah love that super cheap as well so the next two things i got were also on sale at h&m they're these um perfume roll-on things roll-on balls um it is i got two of them in different scents the first one i got is the sand I have no idea what scent it is. I think it's the San, oh yeah, the San, Santalum scent. Um, it just looks like this. So I'll just basically roll it on my wrists and sort of rub it on my neck and stuff. So yeah, it smells really nice. Really, really nice. It, it's sort of more of a deeper, muskier, I don't know, muskier, dark, um, deeper sort of, has that sort of sensual kind of scent, which I really love. I haven't tried the other one yet, but the other one smells really nice when I um, tried on the tester. And it is in this scent, Camaro Ylang Yang. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name. So yeah, really great. It's only $2.99, um, super affordable, really, really love it. So if you're looking for some affordable scents, I definitely recommend you to check H&M out for that. The next thing I have for you guys are some more scents. I am obsessed with smelling nice and stuff. So I have this um, perfume that I got from um, Thailand in the store called Moshi Moshi. Um, it is in the scent Endless Fantasy. It's super cute. It's like this mini perfume spray. What I love about this is I can just like pop it in my purse and just use it on the go. So it's really like convenient. It's like a travel size perfume. So if you're going on a trip somewhere for a couple of days, I definitely recommend you to try out Moshi Moshi's like miniature perfumes. This scent is in Endless Fantasy and I love, love it. I'm really bad at describing scents. Um, There's no description, but let me tell you, it smells really, really, really nice. Um, You will not regret it. Um, They have other scents as well. So yeah. I love that. I use it every day, even if I'm not going anywhere, I'll like spritz it like after I take a shower or whatnot. So yeah, love that. Okay, so before I came to Finland, I went to this store called Butrium in Thailand. I'm not sure if they have it in other places. I'm pretty sure it's only in Thailand. So I picked up this um, sort of hair and body mist from the brand Cute Press and I've actually have used their um, scents before, um, and I really, really love it. So the one I'm currently using now is the Fresh Fruity scent. So I'll just basically, after I take a shower, I'll like spray it on my hair. Even some days when I don't shower, when I don't shower, when I don't wash my hair, I'll like spray it. It smells really, really nice, and it'll, I'll like spray it on my hair and then spray it on my body. Um, so it's like the cute, it says a bye bye smell hair and body mist odor clear technology lasts 48 hours and I definitely can vouch it lasts a really really long time also what is really effective is if you like take a shower when you wash your hair you spritz that right after and then um, blow dry your hair I feel like it gives a really nice long lasting effect so yeah I picked it up in two scents also fresh floral I haven't used this one yet um but I will definitely try this one when this one runs out. So yeah, really, really love that if you're looking for sort of a fragrance mist to spray. And you don't also have to spray it on your hair, you can also spray it on your body, which I also do. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna share with you guys is basically what I use in my shower routine and what I have been using these past um, couple of months. 
So yeah, I absolutely love using Dove for my body washes. So I have been using this one. It's already out. I filled it up with some water. Um, but um, it's in the scent Matcha Green Tea and Secure Blossom. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned this in my previous videos. Um, so yeah, love it. The scent is really, really nice. Um, like I said, I've already used it up. <laughs> I purchased, I think I purchased it in April and it ran out recently, maybe a couple weeks ago. So yeah, love this. And then I just picked this new one up in this um, scent Pomegranate and Hibiscus. So yeah, I love Dove. Um, I feel like their body washes and including their body creams makes your skin feel super smooth, silky, nice, hydrated. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend you to check out Dove's like body wash. And for shampoos that I have been loving in the month of March and including this month and previous month is Garnier Fructis. Every time I'm back home in Finland, I will pick up um, Garnier Fructis' shampoo and conditioner. Um, I feel like they kind of altered the scent of it, so it smells a lot nicer than previously. It smelled really, really nice before, don't get me wrong, like really nice, but I feel like it smells even more nice. Or maybe I just haven't used it in a while, so I don't remember. But yeah, for shampoo, I've been using the, oh, oh, Vitamin and Strength Reinforcing Shampoo, um, Blood Orange, is that the name of the scent? But yeah, um, it's in this green bottle. They have other colored bottles, like blue, red, orange, so yeah, mine is almost out. I love it. It smells really great on your hair. Um, and it makes your hair really soft and silky after you get out of the shower. And then for conditioner, I've been combining it with this um, Garnier Fructis Goodbye Damage Repairing Conditioner. It includes omelet, fruit extract, liquid, vegetal, keratin. Reverse one year of damage on the surface with three applications, which I feel like this one is really, really great for conditioner. I definitely recommend it. Um, you don't actually need a lot um, to make your hair feel silky. Um, I feel like a little still goes a really long way. I love it. I always pick this up whenever I'm back home in Finland. So yeah, love this. So the last thing I'm going to share with you guys um, that I have been loving in the month of May is this body lotion called air sun um you can pick it up i'm actually not sure where i got it um my dad actually gave it to me um when i arrived in finland because my skin has gotten really dry when here um i feel like in thailand my skin is obviously it's more humid um more moist so your skin doesn't really get dry here um the spring still feels like winter so your skin cracks it gets dry but this one oh my gosh if I could recommend any sort of body cream. I would definitely recommend this. This has done wonders to my skin. Um, it's not scented or anything. It's just basically does like the job of like making your skin not dry. But yeah, I love it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can only get it in Finland. So if you are in Finland, um, I definitely recommend you to check it out. I'm sure you can probably get it at the grocery store. I'm pretty sure that's where he got it from, like Prisma or something. So yeah, I love it. Makes your skin feel super smooth. You don't feel like a crocodile or anymore. So yeah, love this. That concludes my May favorites. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, I will try to link all of these products that I've mentioned um, down below if I can find them. So yeah, um, with the links and the prices and everything. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below if there's any other videos you would like to see. Um, the weather is starting to get warmer, so I'll definitely be doing some more outfit of the days, lookbooks, books, and all of that jazz. So yeah, um, and hopefully I'll be vlogging because um, I have to, I do have some few exciting trips planned um, for this summer. So yeah, um, anyways, I hope all of y'all are having a lovely day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!